Hey, Tom here back at you. Thanks for stopping by. I want to show you what I'm doing with the tarp. I got a pole tarp here on my RV. You don't see these too often. And I lost my awning a few years back in the storm and we've been going without one. And uh, we're starting to use our RV more in the summertime and in the spring other than hunting season. And uh, so we want to have a tarp, especially for camping where it's pretty hot. Anyway, here's what I've done. Uh, I bought a, bought a tarp, bought a cheap tarp for under 100 bucks, and I put grommets in all the way around for poles. Those didn't work out. I'll show you what we're doing now. But I do have a couple. I have a grommet on each end of this awning. There's another end of the awning, and what I do if I'm putting this up myself, I back my truck up to about to about right here actually maybe a little bit closer up right here where I can slide the awning I get the awning I unfold it lay it out on the ground and I pull it up over the back of my truck and I stand on my truck I get up on here stand in that corner pull the tarp up and I I guide the, start guiding the tarp through that J rail right there. If you do this system, what you want to do is you want to, that slot that's in that J rail, you want to lubricate that slot before you start sliding it through and pulling it through the way I'm going to show you right now. So what are you going to do? You're just going to slide it through and move down and move down and slide it through? No, that's not what you want to do. What you want to do is get yourself in the, yeah, see, I got a glare in there. There's an S hook right there. You hook it on, get yourself a an eye bolt, put it through the slot that your awning's in, get a rope, get that rope, pull it all the way back through. See how I got it pulled back through? That eye bolt there. And then as you you're on the back of your truck, you Pull your rope and you're pulling that awning through the slot until you get it to where you want and then you stop. And what I do, and when we take this off, I'll just take that um, S hook, back my truck up here, hook that S hook on there, and I'll just actually, you don't even need to hook the X hook up. You just back your truck up, stand on the back of it, and just slide that awning back out, fold it up and um, you're done all right part two of that is initially i wanted to put grommets see that hole right there grommets in there for uh, the poles and that didn't work out those grommets pulled pulled through um didn't see that coming probably you could see that coming uh, you know um had to learn on my own. Anyway, what I've done is I got some of these amorous alligator clamps right here. And now I got my pole going through these alligator clamps down on my guide line. Here, let me get one of these clamps here. These clamps have like six, six or eight rows of teeth. Can you see that right there? There you go, six or eight rows of teeth. They got a little knob on the top of it, so you, you clamp that lot and clamp that down on your on your tarp right there. And as you can see, it's holding pretty damn good. Pole's not going through the pole's not go, poking a hole through your through your awning, and then just pull it down on your guide rail, or just put excuse me, pull it down to your stake. Anyway, that's uh, how we're doing it with uh, our tarp. That's how I do it alone when I'm out hunting. And uh, that's uh, our system uh, subject to improvement. All right, thanks for watching, Tom.